Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace the flywheel on your engine, first make sure the engine has cooled. Next, you should remove the wire and boot from the spark plug to prevent the engine from accidentally starting. We recommend performing this procedure with little or no fuel in the tank. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the mounting screws, securing the engine cover. Release the starter rope from the retainer and pull the cover off. Now use a 5 16 inch socket or nut driver to remove the screws securing the fuel tank. Use a 3 8 inch socket to remove the mounting bolt securing the tank to the side of the engine block. Set the tank aside. Remove the 3 8 inch bolt securing the blower housing. Pull off the blower housing and oil dipstick tube. Use a 13 16 inch deep well socket or a spark plug wrench to help loosen the spark plug. Then unthread it. Confirm that the piston is in the downed position. Then insert a cord into the cylinder to prevent the piston from moving. Now use the 15 16 inch socket to loosen the flywheel mounting nut. Unthread the nut and remove the starter cup. Now depress the bail arm to release the brake and use a spring clamp to hold it in place. Confirm that the magnets in the flywheel are rotated away from the ignition coil. You can now use a flywheel puller to help lift off the old flywheel. Before you install the new flywheel, remove the flywheel key from the crankshaft, if still intact. Now position the new flywheel on the crankshaft so the slots align. Insert the flywheel key into the slots and push it into place. Align the starter cup and rethread the mounting nut. Torque the mounting nut to 55 foot-pounds. Remove the clamp to release the bail arm. Remove the cord from the cylinder. Rethread the spark plug. Be careful not to strip the threads by over-tightening. Replace the blower housing, making sure the attached dipstick tube is inserted into the sump. Thread the mounting bolts to secure and torque them to 7.5 foot-pounds. Confirm that the spacer is in place on the fuel tank, then reposition the tank on the blower housing. Replace the bolt and mounting screws to secure. Realign the engine cover. Rethread and tighten the mounting screws.
depress the bail arm, extend the starter rope, and secure it in the retainer. With the repair completed, reattach the wire and boot to the spark plug, refill the fuel tank, and your engine should be ready for use.